When testing your Everweb responsive pages, if you find that they don't quite fit correctly on the device they're being displayed upon, the problem is often that there's some horizontal play in the page. The problem is usually that the page is too wide for the device it is being displayed upon. For example, an iPhone SE has a width of 320 pixels, an iPhone 8 is 375 pixels, whilst an iPhone 8 Plus is 414 pixels. To help test my pages, I can use Apple's Safari web browser's responsive design mode feature, which lets you test web pages on all of Apple's current hardware, including the iPhone SE. To enable responsive design mode in Safari, go to the Safari Preferences menu. Click on the Advanced button and tick the Show Develop menu in Menu Bar option. Finish by closing the preferences. You will now see the Develop menu in Safari's menu bar. The Enter Responsive Design Mode menu option will be used later to test our responsive pages. The smallest type of device my pages can be displayed upon is the iPhone SE. You won't need to worry about this number when adding full width objects to the page in EverWeb, as these objects automatically resize to the available screen width. The most common cause of horizontal page drift occurs when the full width checkbox is unchecked in the metrics inspector, when it should in fact be checked. For example, if you want to add a full width text box inside of a responsive row widget, check that it is set to be full width in the metrics inspector once you have placed it within the responsive row. If the full width checkbox is not checked, the text box will be treated as a fixed width object. So, if the text box is 900 pixels wide, then on an iPhone SE, you'll be able to scroll horizontally up to that value. To stop this happening, either make the text box a full width object, or reduce its width to below 320 pixels. A second cause of horizontal page drift can happen when using widgets, such as the Flexbox and Text Section widgets. When using such widgets, you still need to size objects so that they fit within the 320 pixel width of an iPhone SE. The Text Section and Flexbox widgets are good to use as they allow you to set minimum width, maximum width, and default width values in the widget settings. This means that your images scale better on the devices they are being displayed upon. For example, I have three Flexbox widgets with an image in each. To make the widgets fit properly on all device sizes, embed the widget inside a responsive row widget. In the Object Sizing Options section of each Flexbox widget, set the default width, minimum width, and maximum width values for the image to be 100%. For the responsive row widget itself, I have included an insert margin value of 10, and I've set the vertical alignment to middle and the horizontal alignment to center. Once complete, preview the page in Safari's responsive design mode and check that the page fits properly for each device type.